today I'm going to be revealing a new rack system I put together. Plus, we got some new fish in the fish room, so stick around. You're not going to want to miss it. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be revealing a new rack system that I built in the fish room. Plus, I got some new fish that I'm going to show you guys as well. But right now, let's just enjoy this little pond. Just sitting here feeding them some pellets. Sitting back chilling. It's definitely time for the pond to get a nice cleaning and some maintenance done to it. So if you guys want to make a video on how I maintenance this pond and clean it and do the water changes and everything like that, let me know in the comment section because I will make a full video about the maintenance on this because it's not that bad but i'm sure a lot of you guys are probably interested in know like how do you keep this thing clean but uh everything in here is doing good i got like two new fish coming for the pond probably in the next week or two um uh, one that i'm gonna have to grow out that's gonna be super dope once it get bigger and then another one that i know you guys are really gonna like this fish because it's just an awesome fish and you don't really see them a lot so I should be picking up those fish in the next week or two. I know I got one coming in the mail and one I got to pick up locally. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that because that's going to be dope as well. I cannot wait to get this other fish, man. But the pond is coming together. I told you guys to get the video to 1,000 likes and I'll put the red tail catfish in here. I think the video had like 800 likes or something like that, maybe. I'm sure it'll be at 1,000 by the time I drop the video. So hopefully tomorrow... Um, I can film putting the red tail catfish in here. My homie, Mr. Feet, the fish post to come through. If everything work out, if our schedules match, we'll come through and get that red tail catfish up in here and make a little dope video for you guys. Um, so make sure you got your post notifications on to all. I see a lot of people subscribe and got your post notification on, but you got to make sure you put it to all or your subscribe don't count, you know, so that way YouTube notify you when I drop these videos. But uh, everything in the pond doing good as always. Like I said, if you want me to do a full maintenance video, let me know in the comment section. I definitely will get to that. But we finna go look at the new rack system and I'm gonna show you guys new fish, so stick around. All right, so before I show you guys the new rack system that I set up, I want to show you guys some of the new fish that I picked up today in the fish room and give you guys an update on the fish that we picked up in the last video. But I got six of these filamental barbs or filamentosa barbs. You guys can let me know in the comment section if I didn't pronounce that correctly, but I think these guys are really awesome fish. They're kind of like a semi-schooling fish. Sometimes you see them kind of schooling together, then other times they kind of be off doing their own thing. But they're a really awesome barb. They get fairly big, around like six to seven inches in size. Uh, so these guys are probably about an inch and a half, two inches, so they still got a lot of growing to do. And it's going to be pretty cool to see everything in here kind of mature and grow. The Hecalis are kind of like almost full size, but the other red humps are still pretty small. So between those three species of fish and then the chocolate cichlid, this tank is going to look awesome once everything kind of matures and once I rescape it and get some plants in here. And it's going to look dope, man. I think this is going to be, I know it's going to be one of my favorite tanks down here in the fish room. Um, but I had to pick these guys up today. And I got six of them, like I said. I think that's a good number because they do get big. And maybe down the line we'll get some more once we see how big these guys really get. Um, but they're definitely an awesome little fish. Just can't wait to get this tank fully together. Look at our little chocolate sickle over here. He changing colors. I swear this fish changed about three to four different colors. Every time I look at him, he's a different color. He'd be like light like he is now with that black spot and sometimes he'd be all black and sometimes i see some yellow popping out of him just a really unique fish man just really unique fish but these barbs are dope as well super dope tank man the fish are kind of like all over the place right now because there's no skate they just kind of just swimming around but once everything gets settled in over here this tank is going to be super dope so you guys can let me know in the comment section did we take a w on these fish today you know all we do is take w's in the fish room and uh let me know what you guys think man because i really enjoy these fish look at that red hump and they're swimming all right so this is the new rack system that we set up down here in the fish room if you guys been watching my channel for quite some time you would know that i used to have probably about 15 10 gallons over here 
but I went ahead and moved all those 10 gallons and I'm going to be setting up a new rack system in a different area of the fish room but I want to do something different if you guys been watching the channel from the beginning I used to have my rack system like that I had three 30s at the top and I used to have 55s at the bottom so I went ahead and put the 29 gallons back at the top and then I just put my 36 gallon boat fronts down here at the bottom just so it can fill in this area a little bit i already had my lighting hung up so it kind of just worked out perfectly um, for this situation i'm just loving this setup a lot better than all those 10 gallons you can really see the fish we can do like some colony tanks or some show tanks over here and really bring these tanks to life this tank i already got some fish in these aquarium these are my yellow top Mabamas that I've been breeding for probably about six months now and what I really love about these fish is that they're a colony breeding fish You can see we got fry in here. We got the bigger ones I even have the parents in here the whole colony is in here even got a female back there holding and they're just a perfect fish And I really just want to showcase these guys and show how these guys can breed together Cause A lot of people got say Africans are just mean and nasty which they are But there are certain species that just do very well with each other so you can see that little juvenile male starting to get some blue on him and that's a i think that's the mom one of the moms we got two yeah we got two there okay there you go that's a good shot of her right there she's holding some fry right now now i'm not even going to strip her i'm gonna let her just spit the eggs in this tank that's why i got all the rocks in here like that so she spit the fry or the eggs wherever they may be um they'll just survive they'll just get, get down in the rocks and they'll be just fine like i said they don't eat their eggs they don't eat their fry they're just a perfect breeding colony african I just love these fish, man. I want to see if the daddy will come out. He's back there. You can kind of see his little fin back there. That's the daddy right there. Just a beautiful fish. And there's some of his little sons that's starting to really put on some color as well. So I'm going to just keep line breeding these guys. And hopefully maybe I'll sell them down the line. But for right now, I'm just enjoying them. And I just like how they look. And I'm just loving this scape right now with all the rock. It just looks real natural like they're in their natural habitat. So... That's what's going on here with all these little fry. Tons of little fry in here swimming around. And then we also got some bristle nose that's in here breeding too. I don't know if you guys can see back there. But we got a male back there on some fry. And let me see if I can focus up here. I see one that's got kicked out the tank. So it's one that's in this little corner right here that got kicked out. So we got bristle noses in here breeding with these guys as well. So I just let you know what you can do in aquariums with certain different species of fish. So loving this tank and can't wait to just see it mature mature more i was gonna put these guys in the pond but i think i'm gonna leave them in this tank so we can really just watch their activity and i can just showcase them right here but as far as the rest of the tanks all these tanks are empty um haven't decided what i want to do and that's why i made this video so you guys can give me some suggestions i did um find out that i should put some rummy nose tetris in here that's what somebody suggested like put some rummy nose tetris in this tank so i might do that because i just like how i look with the lava rock and the driftwood um, but we still got more tanks to decide what we want to do and i want you guys to give me some suggestions we got 36 gallon bow fronts down here at the bottom so that's a fairly decent sized tank where we can get some fairly decent sized fish in here so if you guys want me to do like some species only tanks we can do some community tanks we can do some piranha tanks we can do a lot over here um and grow some fish out so i'm really loving this setup and you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it and what type of fish we should do over here because i got room to do a lot right now you know and then like i said i got all my 10 gallons put up right now we're gonna be building a whole other rack system for just 10 gallons and i'm gonna focus on breeding fish in those 10 gallons maybe like some shrimp or some smaller species of fish like that but for right now I just wanted to go back to just having nice beautiful show tanks and just showcasing the fish the way they need to be so that's what's going on in this rack system right here and I just couldn't be any happier man I just think it looks so much better than all those 10 gallons we can actually see the fish you know so let me know what you guys think and we're gonna definitely get it going man look at these dudes looking great now while we're here let me give you guys an update on our Giardini. Dude, it's super fast, swimming around. I got him eating shrimp now and pellets, so doing great. And I was kind of concerned about him just for the first couple of days. I'm like, man, I just don't want him to not eat for me. But J4 made sure he sent me a good fish that I was eating. Loving this Giardini. I've been looking at some silver dollars. We're probably going to try silver dollars with him. Um, might even put my pike in here just to give him somebody because he's getting more timid the more and more he's been in my care he's definitely getting a little bit more timid i try to keep the light on 
just to make sure he get used to the light because it seems like he's kind of like scared of the light he kind of like hangs out over here behind this little artificial plant back here but for the most part he's doing good and i couldn't be any more happier we got some more dope fish coming like i said in the beginning of the video so he might have a little partner here soon everything down here in the fish room is doing great this is another tank that just i really just enjoy looking at and spending time with just all the colors and activity that's going on here probably going to take these angelfish out of here and move them down with the heck of lies and new fish we got our little disc is in here still kicking not growing but he's still kicking though he's still alive that's what all that really matters but everything in here is doing great as well would love to breed these electric blues or cars one day but probably gonna have to put them in a, their own little tank to get them to start breeding but the plants in here is growing good cannot complain about that and these are still my number one schooling fish down here in the fish room man like these exodons are just something else i'm definitely gonna be buying more of them i just gotta wait till i can find probably like 10 or 15 more of these i definitely need some more you can see we got all these snails look at all these like i don't know what type of snails they are like ram horn snails or something like that but there's so many snails when i turn the light on they just be all over the glass and then when the light's on for a while they just be right back in the substrate but i'm sure they're pretty good for the tank far as like turning over the substrate and keeping it pretty clean just did a water change on this tank today so all the fish is looking pretty happy and healthy man just love this tank but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video it's probably a little shorter video um just wanted to reveal look at pinky pinky might have a friend coming here soon i think i just gave a hint away um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Just wanted to show you guys the new rack system and ask for some suggestions, what you guys think we should do. Um, we got a lot of options with these 29 gallons and these 36 bow fronts. You can put some decent sized fish in them or like some community tanks or some species only tanks. I got some ideas in my head, like I always do, but it's always nice to hear you guys suggestions because some of you guys uh, be having some really good suggestions on what I should do. Uh, to make everything just better down here and just keep the fish that we always wanted to keep and then maybe I, maybe you guys can't have the certain fish but maybe i can keep the fish for you guys and you can always come over here and watch the fish grow and mature into something um but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it monster fish doing good feed them again these dudes they eat me out of house and home i go through bags of this these uh pellets on a daily been trying to get everybody on pellets also, so that way I ain't got to feed him shrimp all the time. Um, the catfish ain't no choice. I'm going to have to feed him shrimp and tilapia. But all the rest of the fish, I'm just trying to get them on the pellets. Even the bass. want to get the bass. I don't even see the bass right now. He must be hiding. I see him back there hovering. But I'm trying to get all the fish on pellets just to save on the money because trying to feed them tilapia and shrimp every day is very expensive, man. And, uh... You know, it already costs a lot of money to keep up with the fish room and do what I do down here anyway. So I try to minimize some things and make sure the fish is eating still without having to break the bank, you know. But the red tail, I ain't got no choice. I got to spend the money on him. <laughs> we probably be adding him in the next video. Uh, for sure, for sure, the next video. And then, like I said, if you guys want me to do uh, a video on how I maintenance this pond, I definitely will get that going for you guys. Um, because it's definitely time to do a nice cleaning on the glass, do a nice water change on it, um, clean the filter out a little bit. Um, the reason I haven't cleaned it just yet is because I wanted to make sure that I built the cycle up before I just get to doing water change and water change. That's like with any aquarium, anytime you set up a new tank, don't do a water change for a while, at least a month before you do a water change. So that way you can build up the bacteria in your tank instead of just changing the water, changing the water. So that's what I've been doing here. Look at the clown big as heck man but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it i appreciate y'all um giving me the support and watching the videos um probably next month this month coming up we're gonna start working the 470 gallon pond um we still got some stuff we're gonna do behind this wall in the fish room back there i still got more bills and more things coming the 120 gallon with the red tub out of here we're gonna be setting the 120 gallon up and i got some dope ideas for that as well so you know, the grind don't stop and I'm going to keep dropping. So I appreciate y'all. Like I always say, 
and uh let's get this video to a thousand likes <laughs> i like you know the likes the reason i say that is because the likes help the algorithm it helps um boost the channel a little bit more so that we can attract more people to the boss family you know so that we can grow and build our family around here and so that way we can do more dope stuff down here in the fish room in the future man so enough talking i'm out of here i'll catch you guys in the next one